I make some really good black bean barley burgers. I'll leave my recipe for that in the description box below as well. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I have been promising that I am going to do taste tests, reviews of the Very Good Butcher's Meat. My beautiful friend gifted me so many different meats from them, if you want to call it that, plant-based meat, right? So I have like pepperoni, I have sausage, I have hot dogs, I have vegan burgers, um, I have taco meat, I have steak. So anytime I try one of them, I promise to bring you a little review. So the last one that I did was for their, um, their ribs, their vegan ribs. So I'll leave a link in the description box below so you can check that out. This time, we're doing the burgers. So I promised you that I would be reviewing any very good butchers plant-based meat that I have. So here's another review for you. Definitely check out the one that I did on their vegan steak. And I actually do have another one so I can just give you like a peek at what it looks light let me grab it out of the freezer so this is what it looks like frozen um this is the ribs and this is what i did a review on before so i'll drop a link in the description box below maybe i said steak but i didn't mean steak i meant ribs yeah the vegan ribs kind of looks like a piece of steak came out really tasty but if you want the full review of this vegan ribs check the description box below and if you want my vegan ribs recipe i'll leave that there as well but that's not what we're here for we are here for the very good butchers plant-based butchery out of british columbia the very good butchers plant-based vegan burger review let's do it Okay, so what I'm starting with is just a little bit of olive oil in a pan. I'm getting this uh, grill pan hot, and I only use about a teaspoon of olive oil. I use too much, but just enough to kind of coat it a little bit. It's really good about not sticking. This is a um, Caflon, which I love. I would love to one day have a full set of Caflon pots and pans and all that good stuff, but I have this one. And this is just a ride or die, a really good thing to have. So check them out if you want. If I can find any of their links, I'll put them in the description box below. So I'm heating up that oil. I've been thawing out the vegan burgers and I'm going to go ahead and cut it open. And let me turn the heat down a little bit because I have it on about medium high. I'm going to turn it down to medium so it doesn't smoke out too much. I usually like to use... Um, avocado oil because the um, temperature that you can heat it at is very good like you can go super high and it won't burn olive oil not so much you got to keep it kind of like low medium high to medium in order for it to not smoke out too much and it's healthier that way you don't want all those carcinogens and things which are cancer causing so I'm going to cut this open and let you see how how I fry it up Okay, here I have one of the patties, and I thought it was really cute how they have the grill marks already in it. They know, they know what's up. You need those grill marks. So it was frozen, and I started to thaw it out. So I took, let me show you the real deal. Two of those patties were kind of together, and what I did was... I didn't think this was like one whole patty. Let me just see what are the servings. Because I did put a knife through it thinking that it was two. So it says nutritional value one. But it doesn't say how many servings per. Like is it supposed to be four patties or is it supposed to be two? Because they look pretty big to me. Let me see. If I can find it anywhere on here where it says if it's four patties or two patties. Kind of looking. Hmm. It doesn't say on here anywhere if this is supposed to be a packet of four or a packet of two. 
So let me just show you what I'm looking at. Like this is the packet. And then to me, it looks like there's a crease in the middle, but maybe it's supposed to be one. I mean, it could be. It just looks kind of thick. Um, but I was able to kind of slice it through a little bit, but then I don't see any grill marks inside. So what I'm thinking is maybe it is supposed to be just two patties. And I, I don't know, that's so strange. Because you would think that if you sliced it, there would be grill marks on the inside if it's two patties. But then how come it sliced kind of relatively well unless it was just thawed out enough that I could do that? So because to me, because it's so big, what I'm going to do is... Let's go ahead and make it two. That's kind of like the size that I'm used to with patties. Unless it's like a big bulk of burger. Um, I make some really good black bean barley burgers. I'll leave my recipe for that in the description box below as well. And since the grill marks are already on that side, I'll start it off on that side so that we kind of like cook it through that way. Oh, I'm kind of making a mess. Um, so we kind of click it more on the other side where the grill marks are not. And then once we start getting that and it's cooked in mostly, then I'll flip it over just to kind of heat it a little bit. So we'll do that. The cool thing about this grill is it also comes with this. So I think it's also really good for like sandwich making, panini making, um, vegan grilled cheese, all that kind of good stuff. So I'm gonna push this on here. I usually don't use it for hamburgers, but because of the issue with how it doesn't have those grill marks, I guess. When you start off with grill marks, it kind of <laughs> sets you up to have that expectation of it looking just like that. So you want it to look like that on the other side. Now, if it was just plain on both sides and I started with it, then whatever grill marks I got, I probably would be like, okay, it looks nice. But the other factor is they're kind of crumbly. So I don't know what that's about. My black bean barley burgers were not crumbly at all. They held together pretty well. But to be fair, I didn't try to grill them on a um, grill pan like this. I baked them. So that had them like hold together really well. All right, I have a plate all ready to go. And that is just a little bit of hot sauce because I am a hot sauce girl. You want to see the hot sauce that I like to use in the show? So this is my favorite hot sauce. It's a hot pepper sauce, very hot. It's used with, um, it's made with scotch bonnets. And once you have this, it's so good. I mean, it's really hard to go to like a Tabasco type of hot sauce. Ingredients, hot peppers, water, cane vinegar, salt. That's it. And that extra ingredient is probably like helps with the thickness or whatever. So yeah, that is my favorite hot sauce. Okay, back to serious business. Let me turn that vent off because I'm sure that is so loud. Um, let's move this and see what happens when we move it. What's going on here? How the burger's looking? We got those pretty grill marks on the top, so that part looks good. What happens when we flip it over? Okay, it's crumbly guys. I mean, I honestly don't know if I was supposed to cut the middle or not. If it was supposed to be one big burger, then my mistake, but at least it has that little crunchy texture. I think this is good enough. Like half would be good. Now this one's all jacked up. Let's see what's going on here. Oh, it's still, it has the same situation, but a little bit worse because it's, it's gonna be half in a second. <laughs> it's gonna be half in a second. Oh my God. 
All right, so I'm gonna have this one. It is prettier. And I'll show you what it looks like on the plate. Okay, guys, here's the vegan burger. Bye. Very good butchers, plant-based butchery, British Columbia. Very good burgers. Le Tres Bon Hamburgers. Delicious plant-based goodness veggie patties. A wholesome and tasty meat alternative. And on the back, there are your calories, your nutrition. The only thing is this, this label was for the whole package and I can't tell if it's supposed to be two burgers or four burgers. So maybe you guys will see it if you want to know the ingredients. I thought it was really cool to how I make mine, except I don't add wheat gluten to my normal burgers, so I think that's something I can start adding. So there's wheat gluten, there's onions, black beans, mushrooms, barley, apple juice, carrots, beets, water, sunflower oil, celery, tahini, I put that in there, garlic, nutritional yeast, a bunch of yummy stuff. And like ingredients that you know <laughs> how to say and what they are, you know, you can just read it. It's not super complicated. I mean, wheat gluten may not be known to a lot of people, but it's still a very simple ingredient that you can pronounce. Okay, so that's that. Let me taste this. You, you guys want me to taste this on camera? Let me flip it around. All right, guys, it's time to dig in. I, as you can see, I have a little bit of hot sauce going on there. Let's just take out the corner, see how it tastes. I really like the idea of putting seitan in this to give it an even, like, thicker, more protein, more solid type of texture. So this is what it looks like up close with my little hot sauce on there. Do, 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 do. Yummy. Okay, I will say the taste is really good. I'm gonna try another taste without the hot sauce. You know, I get excited about the hot sauce. The taste is really good. I can taste so many different flavors in there. Mm. That's really tasty. It's very familiar. It's not, it tastes very familiar to my sausage recipe. And it might be because of the seitan and the tahini and the um, nutritional yeast that's in there. So I'm going to taste a piece without the hot sauce to confuse things and just see what that is like by itself. It's good. So my thing is, that for me the texture is a little too mushy, and that's one thing that you get with a lot of vegan burgers. The texture is a little mushy to me on the inside. The outside is nice, it has a nice firm texture on the outside. Once you start to get in the middle, it's kind of mushy. Even with black bean barley burgers, it's like that, it just, tastes really good so I guess you kind of give it a pass but if you're looking for a texture that's very similar to a regular hamburger my honest opinion is the only thing that you'll find close to that or like like almost there would be like a beyond meat beyond burger type of um, patty because The ingredients are just different like this is black bean this is barley your veggies you know so if you want to go like a more natural route this is good or make your own and like I said earlier I'll leave a recipe that I have in the description box below 
But if you're just starting out as a vegan or if you just, you know, you've been vegan for a while or vegetarian and you just want that texture, then go for like a Beyond Meat type of burger. Just keeping it real. <laughs> this is good though. Mm -hmm. I like it. So what do you think guys? Would you try this? I would have this like crumbled up on a salad. I would have this um, in some kind of wrap. You can do a lot with this. The um, You can tell that they are definitely people who are chefs, who know culinary, who know food, because the, all of the um, seasoning, you know, everything they put in it tastes really amazing. And it's one of those things where like you bite into it, you start to taste, then you keep chewing, and then you taste other things, you know? So I like that a lot. Mm-hmm. So good. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know if you want me to keep reviewing the very good butchers or any other reviews you might want me to do have a great evening and i'll see you in the next video bye